In this next example, we will be finding the square root of 121. Usually, to find the square root of a value, we will find the factors, simplify using a math rule, and then rewrite. However, in this example, this is an exception because 121 is a perfect square. A perfect square is a value that if you take the square root of that perfect square, you will obtain, as your output, a whole number. Some examples of perfect squares include 1 squared, which its perfect square is 1, 5 squared, which its perfect square is 25, and 7 squared, which its perfect square is 49. We want to think about what times itself gives us 121 in order to find the square root of 121. If we do 11 times 11, we will obtain 121. I can show you how we can do 11 times 11 to get 121 by multiplying these values together. 1 times 1 gives us 1, again 1 times 1 gives us 1, we add our placeholder 0, and then repeat. 1 times 1 gives us 1, and 1 times 1 gives us 1. We can now see that 11 times 11 is 121. Therefore, 11 squared is 121, and then we can rewrite the square root of 121 as simply 11. This is our final answer. We don't need to do any further simplification or approximation.